Hello you two and welcome to Tuesday's guided reading and we're starting as always with practicing reading some of the words from the text but today there are not just green words that you can sound out and red words that you can't sound out there's a blue word. Have you got any ideas why one of my words might be blue today? Did you remember that word from yesterday, Haraka? That is a word that is written in an African language. So I've decided to colour code words from different languages in blue. So, can you have a go at reading the other words? Should we have a look together? Reached. Pulled. More of those past tense verbs with ed on the end again. Tease. Promise, apologise. Did you notice that this word I've written in two different ways? That's because in the text, apologise is spelled like this with a Z. But you might also spell apologise with an S. Normally, that's the English way of spelling the word, and this is the American way of spelling the word. Although more and more often you see it spelled this way in England and the UK as well. And today, for guided reading, we are going to be making simple inferences about a character's feelings. Now, inferences is using those clues in the text to work out how a character might be feeling. Do you remember the lesson where Mrs. Voden stomped into the classroom in a really bad mood and she didn't say or do, do anything to tell us how she was feeling, but you all knew that she was feeling grumpy from the way she was walking? And I came into the classroom all happy and saying hello, and you could tell from the way I was behaving that I was happy. That is called making inferences. Now, we're going to carry on reading our story about the monkeys and why they swing in the trees. But I'm going to have a look back at yesterday's flip chart just to remind you where we got up to. Because we got up to a very important part in the story. Jambo monkeys, said Crocodile, stranded up the tree again. What a terrible shame. Would you like some help? <gasps> You'll help us, Crocodile, after all the times we've pulled your tail. Surprisingly, Crocodile agreed to take the monkeys back to dry land, one by one. We finished on that ellipsis, that dot, 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 thinking what's going to happen next. And we were saying yesterday, weren't we, I wonder what Crocodile's plan is to get back at the monkeys. I'm a little bit worried because a lot of you in your predictions thought that crocodile might eat the monkeys. I hope you're wrong. Let's have a look. Until it was the last monkey's turn. Haraka, Haraka, hurry, hurry. The water is nearly up to my feet. Not so fast, monkey, said Lizard. Don't you think you should apologise to Crocodile for all the times you've pulled his tail? <gasps> Dear Crocodile, said Monkey, I am very sorry and will try never to tease you again, ever, never, ever. Apologies are all very well and good, said Crocodile, but this time I want something else. Your heart. Oh my goodness me, that's a scary picture of the crocodile. <gasps> he wants the monkey's heart. My heart, said monkey. Well, why didn't you say so? If it's my heart you want, you must both promise to look the other way. You don't want to see me take my heart out, do you? What on earth is going on? Do you really think monkey's going to take his heart out and give it to crocodile? He'll die. Have a look at the picture. Do you think you might know what his plan is? So while Crocodile turned around, Monkey reached for the big juicy mango and... Ready? Here's my heart, said Monkey. But first, Crocodile, you must take me back to dry land. Then I will give you my heart. Oh my goodness me, we don't get to find out how it ends until Thursday. Wow, were you expecting that? Okay, let's have a look at the work that we're doing today. So, for the main and challenge sheet, on your sheet there are some little excerpts from the text, a little chunk of text 
from the story. All the animals were really worried as Crocodile brought Monkey back to dry land. And you've got some questions to answer about that, thinking about the character's feelings. Which word tells us how the animals are feeling as Crocodile brings Monkey back? Can I just point out that question is a bit of a trick one because there are two lines, but the question actually only says which word. So that means your answer only needs to be one word, and that's really important. If the question is asking which word, you don't write a whole sentence, you have to find the one word that is the most helpful in telling you how the animals are feeling. So it's going to be a feeling word. This one does need lots of lines because this question is why. Why are they feeling like this? So you're going to have to explain the reasons why you think the characters might be feeling that way. There's a couple of other questions to have a go at after that as well. Now, if you're doing the One Star Easy Sheet, you're still thinking about the characters' feelings, but I want you to think, at this point in the story, when they're just about to carry Monkey back to dry land, what do you think Lizard might say to Crocodile? And what do you think Crocodile might say back to Lizard? Can you write a sentence for what each one of them would be saying in the speech bubbles? Okay, that's your work for today. Good luck. And I look forward to seeing it when you email it in later.